Good evening, we are here in Nashville, a uh, beautiful city, an incredible time of year to be uh, anywhere in the world that has autumn. I live in LA and I wouldn't exactly say that we have an autumn season um, uh, and it's just great to be here. Uh, I haven't spent a lot of time in Nashville, it's kind of weird because I'm in the music business, um, but um, it's just been great to be here. It's been great to connect with my with my old friends Eric Anderson and Jakir King. Um, it's been great to just have a day off of the bike and um, and do things that you do when you're on tour, like searching for good Wi-Fi and good espresso. Um, we are uh, Some of our week three riders are showing up here at the hotel now. Starting Saturday morning, we're gonna have 20 riders who are heading um, south from Nashville toward uh, New Orleans. And that's going to be just a great thrill. Just the sound of all those bikes riding down the highway is just it's really something. And, and there's many people from many areas of, of, our, of our lives coming. There are some very seasoned cyclists. There are some very new cyclists. There are some people who, who are not yet our friends. Uh, we haven't met them yet. And, and by, by a week from now, there's no doubt that that's going to be a completely different story. Um, so we celebrate life here on Pablo across America. We celebrate what we do on the bikes, which is, which is very much a dedication to life and very much a respect for those uh, children like my son Pablo who have uh, fought uh, against this, this invisible disease inside their body and, and who have died. We celebrate uh, the promise of medical progress and we celebrate the reality that not everybody who is diagnosed with cancer is going to make it. As a father who's lost his son, mm -hmm. I do not say these words lightly. Um, tonight we honor a little girl named Alyssa Ryder whose nickname uh, is Lissy. Um, I, I purposely vacillate between um, saying was and is when I speak of a child who's passed away. I, I do not accept that we have to speak of people who have passed away in the past tense. So please uh, allow me that. Um, uh, whether it's my son or someone else's child, I just can't bring myself to speak in the past tense all the time. Lissy was raised by her grandparents in Maine, um, Cindy and Gary. And she was treated at Barbara Bush Children's Hospital up in Maine, which is a place that I would very much like to go to. Um, we sometimes spend time in the summer with our friends, uh, Peter and Bree Grossback. Peter is my business partner at Dangerbird, and they have a house um, in the New Hampshire area, and New Hampshire and Maine are right next to each other. So maybe this summer I'll ride my bike up and, and uh, see the hospital where Lissy received her treatment. Um, she was diagnosed in 2007 with a brain tumor. She was nine months old. Uh, she passed away just a few days ago on October 4th, excuse me, on October 6th. And she was four years old and 36 days. So um, she spent almost all of her life as a cancer patient. She had multiple major surgeries on her brain. And as a result of the intense steroids that she received in the pediatric intensive care unit, or the PICU, she had multiple major surgeries on her stomach. Uh, this is what we're talking about when we're talking about funding medical research that will help treat children in a more humane way. So if we can find a cure for cancer, well, that's a home run. But what I want to do is I want to get on first base. And I want to get on first base like 30 times. And what getting on first base means for me is how can we have drugs and treatments that address the whole body of a child and just a child? And how do we treat a child's body without harming their body? That is such an important thing to see the effect that chemo and radiation and surgeries had on my son's body because he was given drugs that were engineered for adults, tested on adults, 
uh, and, and, and was simply down dosed for his smaller body mass uh, was horrifying to me. And when I, when I learned of uh, Lissy's journey and to, and to hear that steroids hit her body as hard as they did, it really catches my eye and it really catches my heart. Um, we are a family uh, that endured uh, the cancer treatment of our child uh, and, and our son Pablo um, died in our arms, um, in our bed. Um, his big brother Grady and Joanne and I uh, were with him as Lucy's grandparents were uh, as, as, as uh, he took his final breath. And um, what her grandparents have told us is that she was full of happiness until her last breath. And, and I, I know nothing else about children than the fact that they are full of joy and happiness, no matter what, right? This treatment is hard on kids. I have seen kids go from one second being in terrible pain and then the next second laughing and wanting to go and play. And that's what I want you to think of as we celebrate Lissy's life and as we honor her passing and as we remember her tonight in our resting hours. Tomorrow we're going to visit the kids at Vanderbilt Children's Hospital here in New Orleans. I'm sorry, here in Nashville. I'm thinking New Orleans because I'm thinking about food that I want to eat there next week. And um, we're going to go hang out with the kids at Vanderbilt and we are going to carry Lissy's memory into the hospital with us. And we're going to carry her love and her joy into that place as we go to honor kids who are currently in treatment and as we hang with them and their parents and let them know who we are and what we do and why we're in their hospital, uh, we're going to remember kids like Lizzie and Pablo and all the other kids we've honored on this ride so far um, who, who have not made it. They are there with us as much as the kids that we're going to see all the way down the road here. Um, so it's Pablo of Across America 2011. We're here in Nashville. <clears throat> when we wake up, it's going to be day 13. Um, we are definitely um, sliding into the second half of our ride. Uh, we're happy to be here. We're grateful that you're watching. And uh, we wish you a good night. See you later.